Hi guys, this is uh, Danny for the Rock Phone Company. Today I present you the X1 from uh, Number One. So Number One is a brand, and uh, two weeks ago I presented the X2 from the same brand, which was a phablet. This time it's a smartphone. It's a five-inch uh, screen with a four-core, and it's IP IP68 certified. And it's also uh, shockproofed and dustproof. So the X1 is a large smartphone. Uh, it's due to the fact that it has a five-inch uh, screen. So we can see that it's uh, much more uh, red uh, and reinforced than the X2 from the same brand. Uh, it seems uh, much more uh, tough than the other one. Uh, so as you can see all around it has uh, some soft uh, plastic, I think in order to absorb uh, shocks. Here you have access to the battery. So on this side you have access to the USB uh, V2. On this side we have access to the... It's quite tough to open. Voilà. So we have access to the audio jack. And as you can see it seems uh, well made so to give the water tightness to the phone on the back we have a, a 13 megapixel camera which is quite good for an outdoor phone usually it's a 5 to 8 we have the LED flash here lot speaker is here on the side we have the power button we have the plus and minus for the volume. On the other side we have nothing and uh, here we have the four Android buttons so menu, home, back and search. And here we have the, the webcam and Let's the speaker. Let's uh, look at the box. So it's a typical number one box. Same box as for other products. So inside what do we have? We have uh, a user manual dedicated to the X1 and it's uh, they don't put the number of pages but it's it's not very thick but uh, so all is in English you got a small charger it's a uh, one amp with a USB uh, cable you got a host USB cable and you receive the this kind of tool so it's a multi-purpose tool but the main goal is to open the back here I will open this for you so you can see how it is built Inside. So the back cover of the X1 is quite strong and uh, it's reinforced with a metal plate inside and the screw here doesn't fall out of the back. So the battery is very big because it's uh, 5800 mAh per hour. So inside you have the double SIM, it's a regular SIM and you have here the micro SD drive, it's C certified and the model is X1 but it's exactly GT.X1 uh, and the email are in the 35. So to give the water tightness we have an O-ring all around and uh, so it's uh, written on the back it's IP68 certified so that means that you can drop it 
uh, in the water 1 to 1.5 uh, meter during uh, 20 to 30 minutes. Here we have the X1 and here the X2. So this is a 5.5, this is a 5 inch screen, but overall it's not it's not much smaller than the X2, it's almost uh, the same size, you see, but it's uh, much thicker and it's also much heavier. This one feels uh, really outdoor, this one seems uh, less, less strong. It seems that with this one you can uh, really go anywhere on earth and it will uh, follow you without problem. I have seen uh, videos on the net and it's uh, really waterproof and it's really shockproof. There is even uh, one video of uh, one guy uh, putting uh, the phone under the wheels of a car and the screen doesn't break. It's fast. You have few widget in order to uh, customize the screens of your phone. So let's see the apps. First, I need to put it in English language. Okay, as we are in the parameters, let's see the languages, so as it's Android 4.x, there are many, many languages. You can see here the touch button, first they vibrate and also they light themselves. So you have the Wi-Fi, the Bluetooth, you can use it as a hotspot, audios, display, storage, apps. So I have installed some apps and we, see, we still have 6 gigs uh, of free space which is really big so that means that you will have no problem to install any app you want to add. So it's uh, Android 4.4 Oh, no. So this is not the KitKat, this is a Jelly Bean, so it's not Android 4.4, it should be, a, I think it's a 4.3 indeed. So I think this is, uh, is wrong. Okay, Advanced Task Killer, I have installed it myself. It's to check the free memory we have. So it's a 1 gig of RAM and after uh, killing all the app you still have 472 megabytes. So the Antutu, interesting to see what's the score. So 19,657, so uh, it's typical score with this kind of uh, CPU, so it's a uh, MT7582, uh, so it's a quad core. Let's look at uh, the details here. So 
So especially what we want to see is the 3D graphics and uh, we can see here it's a HD screen which is good and uh, above 4000 uh, of point uh, it's quite good regarding that it's a HD screen so it should be great playing with uh, 3D games we're gonna test that later in full so we have check it's not the 4.4 it's a 4.3 I think so MediaTek 6582 for the CPU the GPU is a Mali 400 the screen is HD so 13 megapixel uh, for rear camera it's quite good for a rock phone so uh, you can really take nice pictures email RAM so you got here the four cores 1.3 gigabyte a gigahertz sorry 1.3 gigahertz screen is 320 dpi and multi-touch is five points front camera is five megapixel which is good also so it's not nfc so you cannot join the phone with your credit card and pay with your phone but it has uh, direction sensor, G sensor, acceleration, light sensor, e-compass, which is good, proximity, but it doesn't have the temperature, pressure sensor, humidity sensor, like the Land Rover A9 Plus and A9 Plus Plus. So backup and restore browser. Let's put the Wi-Fi and see how the browser is working so let's watch some uh, videos Amazon video gives some idea of the scale of destruction brought to Vanuatu by Cyclone Pam the maximum rated category 5 storm is on Friday bringing winds up to 340 km so it's working so let's go now to so the rugged phone company that uh, sent us this phone to test to see how fast is a phone it's okay it's fast enough so of course we have calculator, calendar, camera with uh, autofocus, with uh, HDR function you can have uh, GPS localization for your photos which is quite cool you can downgrade the picture size if you want so you have the clock with the alarms you have the word clock you have countdown, you have chronometer uh, downloads, email, so file manager. So it's a uh, 8 gigabyte phone and available is 6.24 and you can put uh, 64 gigabyte uh, micro SD cards and here I put a 32. You have the radio but you need to put the headphone galleries so it's a IPS screen so with a very good and uh, wide angle and color are quite nice 
it's a nice screen. It's also a strong screen. When I press like that, it feels very strong. Google settings, so GPS data. Uh, now we're gonna test the GPS of the phone to see how does it, it, it works. So uh, GPS ships is, is working. So it got seven satellites on uh, 11. But uh, the first time it took us about 20 minutes to get the first fix, so it's quite long and it's uh, it's little sensitive as you can see when you put your hand on uh, on top, but uh, it's working. And let's see how bright is the screen. So it's bright enough to be used uh, outside. But it's not uh, the kind of super bright screen, but uh, it's quite uh, bright enough. Okay, let's continue with the apps. Now we have the compass, electronic compass. So it's basically the uh, only outdoor tool that you have here. Google local, Google map, messaging, so MTK engineering, we have Advis software to check the bands. SIM1, okay, so it's quite band, GSM, and for the 3G, it's 2850 and 800. So you can check with your local telco to see if it works with your uh, geographical zone. And for the second band, it's only a GSM, it doesn't do the data. Music. So it's very loud and uh, it's good sound. So we're gonna do the games at the end. So navigation, people, phone. So you can have the phone interface. Play Store, of course, in order for you to add uh, software, games, to uh, download music, to download books, and so on. So basically also all the soft we add, um, like MTK engineering, like Antutu, is software that you can find for free on the Play Store. So search, settings, SIM tool cards, sound recorder, to do video player. Okay, let's see if it's good by in playing uh, high definition videos. So this is a move first. So it's no problem with uh, HD move video. Let's see now MP4. So it's okay for MP4, MKV now. So MKV is OK. Uh, what else do I have? 4K, we can see that it doesn't read 4K. We don't have the small picture here of the video. AVI. So AVI is OK, FLV. Uh, I don't think the 
sounds really like it. FLV is great and that's all for the video. Now I can show you around. So this has been recorded outside and uh, as you can see it's a quite good uh, quality when you record uh, your videos. So Wi-Fi analyzer. So what do we get? We get 71, 70 and it's quite good because uh, average score here it's about 74 so uh, we can say that the Wi-Fi reception is okay and wireless uh, inputs if you want to add uh, a mouse of, or a wireless keyboard for example okay let's kill all the apps and let's play now let's start with uh, Novo 3 Okay, let's kill some aliens. So, no lags. I don't know who is shooting at me. Okay, but uh, as you see, it's uh, it's good with this game. Uh, it's a uh, quite in intensive uh, processing game, and uh, it works really fine. Let's look at Real Racing 3, which is also uh, a game requiring. Uh, quite high processing power so now. let's do one lap on uh, Brand Hatch with this uh, Ford Focus RS
the gameplay is good. Knowing that uh, I am now in HD. So it doesn't lag. Okay, so uh, he did it. He performed uh, quite well also on uh, Real Racing 3. So as you can see, uh, it has no problem at all uh, to be used for uh, 3D games and uh, Real Racing 3 and Nova 3 are quite uh, demanding games. Um, so my opinion on this phone is actually quite good. Uh, it was quite mitigated for me for the X2, which is uh, for me, uh, more uh, a city phone, not a real outdoor phone. And actually, this uh, number one X1 is really for me the outdoor uh, phone of the brand. Uh, it feels much stronger. It's it's really uh, a rug phone, a real rug phone, uh, with a big big screen because a five inch is uh, quite big for a rug phone. Four uh, G. Uh, 4-core CPU, um, Android, not 4.4, Android 4.3, but it's uh, it's more than enough. It's uh, fast enough, 20 point, 20,000 points on uh, on the Antutu. 2. Um, it has a Play Store, it has a Outdoor Compass. So I like I like this phone, and uh, I would uh, if I had to choose. Uh, a new rug phone, I would probably choose uh, the X1 due to the large uh, screen and it's a phone that uh, you feel like taking it outdoor, it's not like the X2 where it's more for me a rug city phone, uh, for me this one is a real uh, outdoor phone so if you work outside, if you work, uh, if you are going on uh, uh, trip, uh, bike trip, or a uh, few days uh, in the woods. It's something that I would take with me. Uh, so subscribe to the YouTube channel so you can have the latest uh, video uh, that we test. And uh, we'll see you soon with a new rug phone test. Bye bye.